Hello everybody, welcome to another video from CCT TV. Now I know I've got coffee on my shirt, so it's already a very bad day for me. Chris told me he's gonna make my day so happy, so beautiful with this new car he's bringing in. So this car comes from uh, Huertas in Benihoffer, from John. And why we promote his cars is because we know they're really good people. John is a great guy and the after service is perfect. And we all need a good after service, don't we? Here we go. Let's see what it's, what's coming today. Sounds like a diesel to me, this. Welcome to CCT TV, man. Thank you. I'm Chris. This is Pete. And this is a Citroën Picasso. Citroën Picasso. So it's a Citroën in the Costa Blanca on CCT TV. That's a lot of C's, isn't it, Chris? Oh, it is. And you're called Chris. Yes. I explained about uh, the coffee on my shirt already to the people at home, you know? So, oh, really? Yeah, I have a bit of a bad day, but you're going to make it bright. So how are you going to make my day bright? Mate, the car looks lovely, by the way. Very impressive. Here we go. Automatic handbrake. Automatic handbrake. Yeah, I heard it was a diesel already. Could hear that. It is a diesel. Yeah, I do quite like that. You know, I've been driving diesel for three years now as a daily driver, and uh, it's just economic. Diesel is cheaper than petrol, and um, good torque always in the lower revs. And I do like that. Yeah. So this is another car from Citroen Benihoffer from yep. our friend John, like yep. you just said. Yep. And it's a Citroen Picasso. Okay. It's 2014. 2014. It's not new, but it's it's hardly been used. It's got really low mileage. Okay. And it's like new. You're, you're going to yep. look at this and you're going to think, oh, this is just rolled off the production yeah, line. It's, it's just fantastic. so, it's a bit weird because when you say 2014, you think it's not that old. But we're in 2024. <laughs> it's, it's, so that's years. 10 years. But you're saying the mileage is low. What is the mileage, Chris? 35,000. Kilometers? Kilometers, yeah. So that's 3,500 kilometers per year since the car is 10 years yeah. old. That's very low, man. It's, it's like new. Yeah. You but know what? I'm actually interested in this car. Is it automatic? It's automatic. It's yeah. automatic. Oh. Super easy to drive. Sensors, cameras. Yeah. And the outside looks like an ordinary Citroen, but the inside is where this thing shines. I'm going to show you the inside. I'm going to show you some of the special features on this, because this thing is... is I, I don't even know if BMWs have all the stuff this has. It's amazing. Well, the French are known in the past with the Citroëns to have some, you know, groundbreaking technology, some new bits that pe other people copied later on. Yeah. Uh, and they're trying to stay, you know, in front of the competition a little bit. Uh, I know they sell a lot of cars now, Citroën, way more than in the past, and it's very popular. Yeah. And my friend bought a Citroën, a C3. And when you drive on the road, every third or fourth car is a Citroën. Yeah. So, something good's going on here, man. Yeah, they're pretty good cars. We had a Citroen in the past, never had a problem with never it. Never had a problem. And then you no. swapped it for a Chrysler and it was... No, this is when we were living in Brazil. This is many years ago. We had a Citroen C4 and uh, it was a nice car. It was fast, 1.6 uh, turbo, but it was a petrol. So nice. that was quick. Yeah, yeah, that's lovely. Because with the petrol engines, you know, I like the diesel, but the petrol, you got to rev them a bit and you, you get the power, don't you? And yeah. that, that, is, that is that sporty feeling, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So about this car, you're saying the inside is special. You're going to show me? You want to yeah. do the outside first? Well, let's have, we a about? let's have a little look around the outside first. So let's go to the front and, uh, and see. Now this car, 10 years old, but it still looks... I mean, the paint, cool. the color is special, Chris, isn't it? Yeah, it's like a brown. And, yeah, um, it, I wouldn't call it, yeah, it is brown. It's like a chocolatey, it's sort beautiful. of bronzy color. And Spanish dust. You know, I've, I've, I've cleaned this car like about a hundred times today and there's a layer of dust on it again. <laughs> Chris, it does say exclusive here. This is... Is that like a... Uh, this a, is the top model. This is the top this model. Is, that's, yeah. It's got everything. Oh, it's got everything. But let's go around the outside. So the front of it, you've got all your sensors. It's nice. Let, while we're at the front, let yeah. me show the end. You know what I already like, Chris? How, look how big the front window is, man. Look yeah. how big this is, the shield. Oh, I love that. Okay, so... Right, let's pop it open. Yeah. Oh, wow. Would you say that's a 10 year old engine? I'd say they put that engine in yesterday. <laughs> it looks brand new, man. It does look, it's like, I mean, look at the, look at all the plastic. It's all black. It's not dusty or anything, no. you know? 
Looks Beautiful. like it's never been used. Yeah, so, so that looks really good, Chris. That look, you make me curious about the rest of the car now. The rest of the car is like this. It's it's like it's never been used. It's wow. amazing. And it's very accessible, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. All right, let's close him down. And let's go to the back. Okay, go to the back. Let's go to the back. That looks very different than the other C4s we've had. I know this is probably a bit of an older model. Yeah, this is an older model. Ah, Picasso! It's a Picasso. Yeah. They, they don't make the, the Picassos anymore now. They don't make them anymore. Yeah. yeah, so it's got the Picasso name, which tells me that it's larger than a standard C4, I think. But it's... Picasso was a Spanish artist. Yeah. So it's got a little bit of a Spanish influence, this car, you would say. And yeah. I mean, Picasso is one of the most famous artists to come from Spain, probably. Apart from, was he called Salvador Dali? Was he from Spain as well? Put in the comments if I'm wrong. I yeah. think I'm right. Salvador Dali, Picasso, you know. And then you got Antonio Banderas. Oh, no. He's an actor. <laughs> it's, it's funny how it's a French company, but they, they named it after a Spanish yeah. Ar artist. Yeah. The French got plenty of artists they could have named it after. Could have I been know, the, could have I been know. the Van Gogh. No, he's from Holland. Oh, the guy that Holland. cut his hair off, yeah? Uh, They're all crazy, these Dutchies, and then especially these artists, <laughs> okay, you know? Monet. Yeah. Yeah, Monet, Monet. Monet. It could yeah. be, why, yeah. not, why not the Citroën Monet? Yeah, but let me tell you this, my auntie is an artist, she's from Holland, and she actually lives in the south of France, that's where she makes her paintings. Really? She's got her own gallery there, she sells that stuff, does what she wants to do, and, um, you know, my auntie was called Van Rijn, I don't know if you ever heard of Rembrandt. Yes. Yeah, he's yes. my great, 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 greater, greater, big granddaddy. Really? Rembrandt. Believe okay. it or not, yeah. That's Believe where, it or maybe not. That's where you get your artisticness from. That's where I got my artisticness. And my auntie as well, by the way. Yeah, we're all coming from the same bloodline. Right. Which is which is my, my grandmother back from Rotterdam. What about you, man? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's focus on the car, man. Okay, back to the car, back yeah. to the Picasso. So, like with uh, many cars, it has electric opening boot. Yeah. Oh, electric like that? Whoa, man! Yeah. Wow, that's, I like that. And it is one of the biggest boots in its class. This thing, i got to take my sunglass off. This thing is massive. You could fit two people in there easily. It's already got the pack in there that you're gonna need yep. and all that. So you, you drive this car away, it's all legal, you got everything you need. This is obviously from, you know, what they put on the roof normally, it's yeah? This is Johnny's sign. Hey, Pete, I think Johnny's giving us a sign. Yeah, Johnny's giving us a sign, but I also <laughs> said that in the next video we might feature John in it. Maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. It's a 50-50 for now. Yeah, Johnny, we're coming for you. Yeah. <laughs> Johnny! Right, all right, mate. Okay. So, big boot. Uh, this obviously a family car. You're not driving it, uh, you know, to, to go on the Nuremberg Ring. You're not buying it for that. Family car. You want your kids to be safe. You might want to take some dogs with you. Yeah. And you want to be in the front, being all comfortable, keeping up to date with everything. The temperature of the car, the radio, the aircon, everything is there in the display. And for that, it's a great car, isn't it? One of the yeah. best in its, in its range, probably. Yep. Yeah. And... Uh, this Citroen Picasso C4, it was available as a seven-seater, but this one is just a standard five-seater. Thank you, John. Yeah. This is a standard five-seater, yeah. Yeah. So, just like it opens, wow, it closes. It's like, it's like a Bentley, isn't it? Yeah. Beep, 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 it gives peepees as well, I love that. Yeah. So, as long as you hear the peepees, the thing is in, in motion. Very safe. Yeah. I like that. So, before we go in the front, we're going to sit in the back. We're going to sit in the back. Leave, I'm leaving the front to last because yeah. you're going to love this. So okay. let's jump in the back seat and show everybody how cool it is in the back. Go and do that, people. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Chris, look what you got there, mate. Yeah. You got your own button. You, you can activate your own air conditioning, adjust the power, move it to yeah. where you want it. That really is great. Chris, cool. I'll be back in 10 seconds. Right, so that was actually under 10 seconds. So I spilled some coffee on my shirt, but I still got some coffee. And then I like to, you know, while I'm working. You look like a businessman. You sat there, coffee, yeah. you got your table, yeah, wait, you got your coffee. Wait till I got my suit and my necktie on, man. You're not gonna believe that. It'd be an international businessman. <laughs> and if you need it, they, they actually have a light there, which you can turn on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When the contact when you, is on, obviously, yeah. yeah. Wow, that's brilliant. I've not seen that before, to be honest. So you got the light there, so that's pretty cool. Got the light there, yeah. And uh, hey, I've got my button as well here in the door, yeah, mate. We got, we got. Look, both look sides. there, look there. Yeah. 
Wow, we got lots of buttons to play around. So that's coming from here to keep it cool. You know, you need good air conditioning. It's so important. How many times have you and me been traveling in the back with the girls? We're in the back sweating it out. They're in the front with the aircon on and they're having a great time. Yeah. You know, they're actually cold. And we're like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. And, and that's the truth. In this car, that would all be over, Chris, wouldn't it? It would. I like that. And, but there's more to this car. Even more? Even more. Give it to me, man. So, if you have a look at the seats here, there is a little lever just by here. Yeah. And if you pull that, the seat reclines. Give it a try. This little lever here. And this little lever yeah. here. Go on, pull it. Pull it. Oh, yeah. And push it, push the seat back. Go on, it reclines. That's it. Oh, man, yeah. And then underneath. It's like TV mode, isn't it? TV mode. And then underneath your seat, there's another lever. You're choking. Which oh, yeah. Slide the seat back and forth. <laughs> I like that, Chris. Remove your coffee. Yeah. Let's try it. I will, sir. I will remove my coffee, sir. Okay, one more feature. There we go. Did you do it? Yeah, done. Oh my god, mate. And these nets are great as well, aren't they? Yeah. You can now lie back with your coffee, put your feet up. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh. And you could uh, travel. Can you, uh, can you put my favorite TV show on, please? Yeah, we uh, CCT TV. Okay, I'll put us. I'll put the TV on. How is? How cool is that? Chris, I'm loving this, mate. I mean, you know, I, I'm, I'm interested in this car, believe it or not. It might not be up for sale anymore. <laughs> if you're interested now, wait till you see the front. It is really cool. Let's go to the front, amigo. Let's do it. Let's oh, do it. one more thing. Yeah, keeping it real there. On the window. You can... Uh, yeah, I see it. I see Don't mention it. Okay. Don't, I see it. Okay. Because I've seen in my car, I've got the same thing, believe it or not. Look, it's not dark enough. We want to sleep because we're laying down anyway. And you just go like that. That's Thank you it. very much. Also, privacy. If you want to do stuff in the back seat um, that you just want to do or need to do, nobody can look in anymore. Nobody's going to find you for doing what you're doing in the back seat. Privacy. And just like that, it's done again. Yeah. Chris, I love that. Just in the back of this car, there's five, six, seven features that just, they're entertaining me, they're making me happy, they're making me go, wow, man. Yeah. Another cool feature I want to show you, yeah, you know if you've ever been traveling on a long journey in the back of a car and you, and you fall asleep, what happens? Your head rolls and you go bleh, you go down like that. This headrest actually has little like sort of butterfly wings you oh, can yeah. fold up like oh that. Oh my god, yeah. And it actually holds your head in place. Yeah, yeah. Like you that. know we got big heavy heads, uh, our Dutch, uh, you know, DNA. You know, apart from being an artist, we also got the big cheese hat. No, water hat. What do they call it? <laughs> yeah. cheese, cheese with cheese hats. I, I yeah. never heard of but cheese But Chris, head. Chris, look at me. It's even working for me. Look, I can't go further in here. And then on the other side. Yeah. Oh, this is amazing, you can, man. You can move it. Yeah, I'm going to write a letter to Citroën to thank them for all that. Yeah, it's very this, kind, isn't I it? I mean, how far do they think these people to give all these little extras in there, man? They, they want people to be comfortable yeah. on a long journey in this car. And my God, it is. This car is... It's really cool. It's 10 years old, but it's like so many features. Yeah, but it's only so done 35,000 kilometers. Yeah. Uh, most cars you see up for sale 2019, 2020, they've done over 100,000 already. You know, many people sell them around 100,000 kilometers. This is done 35,000 kilometers. It's been served, it's been maintained. It's in the showroom. They're waxing it, they're making it beautiful. It, it smells clean, doesn't it? Yeah. And it, it almost got that new smell still. Yeah, it does. It does, so nice. yeah, this is a great opportunity, I think. Maybe one of the best opportunities we've given people so far on CCC TV. Sorry. And this is available through our friend Johnny. Yeah. Sure, right, let's great. jump in the front. Let's and go. you're gonna be more surprised. But hang hang on a sec. Step out the car and I'm gonna show you one more little feature back here. Chris, keep telling me what to do and I'll just <laughs> do it, mate. I'm enjoying this. <laughs> so simple. Right, yeah, I'm stepping out the car and now. Okay, so Let's put the seat back. There wow, we go. that's an easy thing to do, yeah. On the floor, yeah. they do have little storage compartments underneath ah, the floor. Smuggler's box. Smuggler's box. Yeah, I love that, man. And, and it's not that I mean we got to smuggle stuff, but they just call these smuggler's boxes, yeah. you know. Just in case you want to smuggle some... Um, CCT magazines? Yes, CCT <laughs> magazines, exactly. <laughs> wow, that's, that's nice. That's impressive. And, of course, and there's one either side. And of course, you've got the... 12 volt in the middle there. Nice, nice. 
Okay. All right, let's jump in the front. Do that, man. So here we are in the front, and um, yeah, Chris, can I say what what already? Uh, okay. You know what's standing out. Uh, the dash is not on the on the steering wheel side. It's in the middle. Yeah. Uh, I used to have a car that had that. It was uh, a Nissan actually, one of the first cars to do it. I, I love this, man. Yeah. I really, really like this. That it's all central, everything, and it gives you so much information. You you got everything there. You got your revs. You got your speedo. You got uh, how many uh, kilometers? Yeah. You and do how many people are in the car? Yeah. Is that yeah. the two red dots there? Yeah. For how many people are in the car? That's it. Yeah. Radio station. Quarenta always. Twenty-seven degrees. Costa Blanca South. Yeah. Forget about Benidorm. And you can even change this and have a photo up there. Yeah. You can put your own photo there, so you can put uh, a photo up there. Ah, you can your customize other cars. it yeah. and ah uh, make a screensaver and a and Chris. 35,646 kilometers. You're totally on it, mate. You're totally right. Yeah. Special. And you've got your air conditioning yeah, here. Yeah, please put the aircon on, Chris. Let's see if that's proper working. Because okay. I'm sure people can see right now I'm actually hot. Oh, wow, yeah. that's quick. <laughs> so, start, stop. Yeah. Uh, you could put your key in here, but it's not necessary. You can just keep your key in your pocket if you want to, but it's quite uh, a big key, so it's handy to keep there. Keep it in your pocket, mate. And you've got uh, armrests. I love that. Yeah. Armrest, man, here, all. And it's, you know, it's like, up, 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 it's all there. But Chris, I see these buttons on the on the seat here. I'm curious now. Okay, we're going to come to that in a second. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, so we've got this little area here. Little put, area. Put your stuff in. That's the biggest mid console area I've ever seen, mate. Look. It's, it's, this is, oh, I love that. And you also have yeah. this area here. Really? And you have a uh, loads of USBs, and there's even actually a plug socket, so you can plug like your kettle in if you really want to. <laughs> yeah? Or a toaster. For a copper. And Chris, you could even use this for your sunglasses here. There's another compartment there. Yeah. It's pretty cool. All right. Show you something cool now. Finally. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> hey, these, so, these are good though, Chris, yeah? Yeah. So say, uh, say uh, you know, you want to see the stars at night, open them up. Ah, oh, this is the big front window what I mentioned yeah, before. Yeah. Chris, I've never seen this. This, this for me, this sells the car. This sells the car just to play with it. Whoop. Whoop. And you, I got one on my side. But who doesn't want to see the stars at night, mate? We're getting an eclipse, yeah. you know, a partial eclipse. And look, you're in the air. Chris, <laughs> what is this, mate? Two mirrors. Oh, this is to keep an eye on the people in the back, isn't it? Well, if there's a pretty girl back there, you could yeah, just no, adjust they, the one. Yeah, no, but they're going to put the, pri <laughs> they're putting the privacy things up in the back here, and you can still see what they're doing in the in, in the little private, you know, room. Yeah, exactly. The mirror. You know, <laughs> I, I've, I've got uh, some kids, and you're always wondering, what are you doing back there? Well, now you can see for yourself. Yeah, you can see it for yourself. Don't get too distracted. And Chris, Chris, Chris. Yeah. What is this, mate? This? What is it? <laughs> this, this, this is how you change the gear. This is how you change yeah. the gear. It reminds me of an old Cadillac, man. I love that. I, I don't like the position. I'd rather have this on the dash or somewhere down here. I find this a little bit yeah, yeah. behind French the wheel. Yeah, French people love it, though. But you've also got flappy paddles. Ah, oh, we got those as well. And yeah. all, this is all in the price, yeah? Yeah, all in the price. You've got cruise control. Cruise control. You, you can control um, the radio, the, radio, yeah, the, the stereo, phone, the channels. everything. Does it have a horn, though? Oh yeah! Oh yeah, it has a horn. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! So yeah, we love it. Chris, that's the temperature. Yeah. It, it, it feels like this display here, like does it have like a, a left and a right or like or if you're on angle there's or not, something like that? There's a little button here. I'm not sure what that actually does there. Hmm. I have to find that out. Um. <laughs> so yeah, we love it. Chris, that's the temperature. Yeah. It, it it feels like this display here. Like does it have like a, a left and a right or like or if you're on angle there's or not, something like that? There's a little button here. I'm not sure what that actually does there. Hmm. I have to find that out. Um okay, on to another cool feature about this car. You're gonna love this Pete. Yeah. I'm loving the aircon in the car by okay. the way. You, it's on low and I'm cold, so you, love that. Are you relaxed? I am now, yeah. yeah. Yeah, after a stressful morning. Okay, stay there, stay, relax. Stay there. You feel anything? No. No? Okay. <laughs> How about now? Oh! You? Feel anything now? Oh my god. This reminds me of the most expensive Mercedes you could buy back in the 2000s, man. But it doesn't end there. 
No, but I'm getting a massage here in my, mm. in my, and I need this massage, you know? Okay, on the other side, there's another button. Yeah. On the other side. Really? Push, push oh, yeah. it. Push it. <laughs> Chris! 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 Bentleys don't have this, mate! <laughs> Look at me! Instead of calling this the Citroen Picasso, they should call it the Citroen Relaxo. Yeah, that's a I good mean, name. In the back, I was chilling out. Now I'm in the front. I'm even more chilled out because not only am I in a very comfortable position for a road trip to anywhere in Europe, I'm being massaged here, mate. Now, is this the only massage push, massage position that we have? Or is there anything it's, else? It's still? two. You, ha you can have like low and high. I think I put it on high because you couldn't feel it. Okay, mate. So, I don't know if that's it's a bit more gentle, but there's another button here, yeah. which I think also changes. Oh the yeah, type of oh massage. yeah. All right. Yeah. So, uh, let, me, uh, let me turn mine on. You know, I used to pay 20 euros on the beach for a Thai massage. I'm gonna save about five grand a year here, mate, with these massage sheets. Yeah, the Thailand ladies on the beach in one or two years' time, if everybody buys a Citroën Relaxo, uh, Picasso, then they'll be out of business. Do you know what we could do? I got a great idea. Why don't we buy this, take this to the beach, we walk on the beach, would you like a massage? And yeah. we'll bring them to the car, let them sit in there, air conditioning, nice and cool, yeah. have a massage, yeah. and then go on to the next one. I wonder what we could charge. Yeah. How much do they charge on the beach? 10 euros, 20 euros? Well, I've seen them, I've seen them be with 20 euro notes all the time, yeah. you know? Yeah. So yeah. It's, a good, it's a beautiful business, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Who doesn't love a good massage? So we should call this the Citroen Massager. Yeah, the relax <laughs> massage or relaxo. <laughs> now it's just all the options that this car gives you. I mean, does the driver's seat do the same, or is this yeah, only yeah. in the passenger seat you got? I'm this? having a massage right now, like you. You're are. being massaged right <laughs> now. It's good being massaged We're right now. Massage. <laughs> <laughs> it's like someone's behind me pushing on the other side of the seat, going. <laughs> oh man, I'm sure one of my mates, if he was in this chair, be asleep by now. I mean, I, I don't get to sleep. You know, I never sleep. But my mate, he's always asleep. And when you're sitting like this, in the nice, cool, climatized air, with a little, you know, do you want to call it a Thai massage, a Filipino massage, a European massage? It's a French massage. A French massage. <laughs> <laughs> massage Francais. Uh, oui, oui. <laughs> and Chris, now we're on to all, all these extra things, yeah? I mean, you got to buy five Mercedes, four Bentleys, three Rolls Royce, and a Suzuki Vitara to get all these options that are in this car. Is yeah. that right or not? Yeah, that's right. So what's the price for this car then, mate? Well... Tell me, Chris. They are asking 15,200. That sounds but, really reasonable. But, if you say the magic words... CCT? Or you, they get a discount. Cost the car trader. Yeah. I think it's about a 500 euro discount they're willing to give this. 500 off. euros just 500 by saying CCT? Just by saying CCT or Costa Car Trader, they're but willing to knock 500 off the price. Oh man, that's such a good deal. Yeah. I like it. But this car is like, it's like it's new. It's amazing. Let's, uh, let's quickly put it on the road. Yeah, okay. I'm going to press this button here, Chris. See what happens. Okay. Uh, yeah. Look, look. All automatic. Can you see that? It's really happening, mate. I've never seen this before and that's, you no. know, that's, I'm not making that shit up, stuff no. up. Okay, switch off the massage, I'm now relaxed, muscles are relaxed, I'm ready for whatever now. So okay. Chris, what's next? Let's take it for a little ride. Smooth. Do you notice, I don't know if you felt it, but when you pull away, yeah. you feel a little tug on the belt, yes. do you feel that? Yeah, yeah, nice. Not Nothing too serious, no. but you know, okay, I'm safe. Yeah, it's like, it's like. It's, it's adapting to, yeah. to you. Look at this display here, man. Really cool. I love it. Yeah. I love the color. Really cool. Then you got the display for the air conditioning. Uh, you got the buttons there for the seats, you know, the big console as we've shown you. And how's the drive of it, Chris? How does it feel? It feels nice. Yeah, the auto gearbox is great, isn't it? It's smooth as butter. Yeah, it does have a bit of power as well. Watch, I'll kick down now. Yeah, I love that, man. I think That's it, not bad at all. I think it's faster than the C4 uh, 1.2 turbo yeah. that we tested. Yeah. These diesels are fast nowadays. Don't forget, they, they put the BMW 5 Series diesel up against the BMW M5 on the Nuremberg ring. I think it was like half a second difference. 
So, and you know, in the M factory, BMW, they do everything to make this car fast, you know what I mean? Yeah. And in the normal BMW, the factory, they just say, well, let's put a big diesel engine in there, see what happens. <laughs> Right, Chris, so I heard about this feature on the car about the self-parking. Now, I've never ever experienced that. Everybody I, has it, I don't. I don't have it. You don't, you don't have it? And no. I've, ne I've never, never used it before. Ooh, okay, so, so let's... Is, this is gonna be a new experience. So new experience. we'll just drive around a little bit around the corner and find somewhere... To park, yeah? A little bit quiet. Look at these places, in the middle of the week, just busy, everybody's happy, having a good time. Oh, isn't that great, Chris? I know. I love Spain. Love it. Oh, it's that, it's that Citroen indicator again, isn't it? Yeah, you, you like that noise, yeah, don't you? Citroen's yeah. got the best sounding indicators. I'm sorry, but they do. You don't have to be sorry, Chris. We'll find a car one day that has a better sound. And you could change your mind on that. Yeah, not even Ferrari <laughs> has a better sound than that. <laughs> oh, he's, wait, yeah. Oh, here we go. It's he's, he's really smooth and nice uh, i'm liking this car like i said i'm i'm really into diesel these days uh it's just economic which is so important nowadays because so much money goes into shopping electric bills mortgage house rent you know all that kind of stuff yeah and if your car is economic you notice that yeah you're either putting petrol in once a week or you're putting diesel in once every two weeks that's a major difference man yeah yeah. Not only is it more economic to drive diesel, the diesel itself is cheaper per, you know, per liter. Yep. And I'm not making that up, Chris, am I? No, in fact, some people, they run their diesel cars on uh, on oil. Yeah. Like, like from a fish and chip shop. Yeah. I've seen stories of people yeah. doing that. Used oil, Chris, used oil. Yeah, used oil from yeah. like a fish and chip shop. Yeah. Saving the planet while doing it, mate. Yeah. And these are hardcore facts Speedy is giving to you here. Uh, uh, would you kind of smell a fish and chips, though? Yeah. That'd be nice. <laughs> yeah. I don't like fish and chips, but, uh, you know, portion of chips would be all right for me. All right, let's get past this taxi. Never seen a taxi drive so slow. What you want to talk about here, Chris? Okay, so so I have a quick look here on the display. So these are all the features we got. We've got lane departure warning, blind spot warning, you've got 360 vision. If you hit the 360 vision, it comes up on the screen above there. So you can see all around. Pretty amazing, that's pretty cool. And you can change it to front camera, or if you just want rear camera. Wow. So you can, or you, you can take the camera off. But uh, one thing about this car that I've, got no idea because I've never used it is this park assist here okay so ah you can select then where you're gonna park left yeah. right middle out inside out upside down so, love it so let's go with this one here into yeah. parking slot okay and let's see what happens then see what happens yeah so you're still driving now, Chris, yeah? But at one stage, the autopilot's gonna take over. Did I, did I get that right? Yeah, I think. Exciting. I think. I haven't done this yeah. before. Well, no, do it. Go, go to this car here, Chris. Go with the flow. Make it work. Okay, okay. all right. So, as you can see, we're now parked up next to these cars here. And we're gonna try to make the car park in more perfect than Chris could ever do it. Chris, you're doing nothing, no? No, not doing nothing. Chris is doing nothing, and the car is just at the moment going backwards. Yeah, the car's doing nothing as well. <laughs> okay. So let's try this again, Chris. <laughs> take two. <laughs> go, go to that red car, Chris. Go to that red car. Come on, mate. Okay, okay. So park assist. All right. It's this one, yeah. Uh, no, that one. It's that one. Yeah. Take it. Okay. Parking slot. Okay, now go. Oh, select side. Ju ah, right. Go, go next to the red you, car. You had to put the indicator on. Now you put the indicator on. It's scanning. See? Oh, Chris. That's what it was. Yeah, it's but you've never done this before, Chris. No, no nobody's no. blaming you for this. Scanning, we make all the mistakes scanning. here, so you don't have to make them. You know how it works after watching this video on CCT TV. Here we yeah. go. Okay, go close, go close to this car then.
Right, it should detect that. There we go, there we go. Parking possible! Right. And yeah, reverse. Chris. Oh my god. Oh my. <laughs> this is better than the turbo boost on the Night Rider, mate! He's Michael, going, Michael! He's going too fast! Look, look. <laughs> <laughs> the break is scary. <laughs> look, 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 Chris. This is a, it's like a movie. This, <laughs> I like this. All on CCT TV. <laughs> that is the first time I've ever used park assist, and it is a little bit scary because you don't hang about. He goes like, I'm getting in there. Boom, he's in there. It takes longer to find the space than what he does to put get the car in there. But that's I love cool. it. That's I love cool. it. Once that you found really the space, cool. you know, you're going to be parking automatic. The steering wheel is going to turn. It, you should <laughs> film this every time it's happening. It's This is worth filming, man. I love that. Right. Have a sip of my coffee. Let's let's go home, Chris. All right. You know, the, the, there was the person sat in the car behind watching and I wasn't holding the wheel. She must have been so scared. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's a nutter. <laughs> but that was... Um, yeah, that was a new experience. Yeah, it took a while. Yeah, we've done it once now. In the future, we have to do this. We'll we'll yeah. make it more smooth. Yeah, but it, I gotta admit, it parked it perfect. It it went in the right angle. It was right next to the curb. Ah oh, man, no. you, you couldn't park it more perfect, Chris. And that's all the time. And that's not not just the one time. Every time it finds a space by itself, it's gonna be jit, jit, and you parked up, mate. Yeah, love yeah. that. Yeah. And there's different options, yeah, for different parking situations. Yeah, yeah. Left, right, center, middle, behind, upside down. Yeah, it's uh, that's kind of that was fun. Though. Yeah, it's it's <laughs> it's really. I mean, to look at it from the passenger seat, it's cool. But to be in the driver's seat must even be. You know, it's a little bit weird, isn't it? My foot was hovering above the brake. I I wasn't a hundred percent confident it was going to work, but it did. It worked. Yeah, it worked. And uh, the French people did a great, uh, you know, design here. Yeah, it's it's working a trick basically. Makes life easier. Yeah, that's yeah. what it's all about. Make life a little bit easier. Life is stressful enough. You're gonna have a relaxed massage, relaxed parking in. Everything will be done for you. You could you could put your chair back and have a massage while your car parks for you. <laughs> and this car, you know, if you mention CCT fee, cost the car trader. You're getting a 500 euro discount. Could be the deal of the century. This one, Chris. Would you say this car is worth? the money like I said I think it's the deal of the century I want to buy this car uh, so it might be gone already but if you look for <laughs> a great deal he's got several cars like this this is not the only Citroen he's got yeah uh, I'm really grateful that we got to test this car because it's shown me many things that I've never seen before it's always nice to learn something to see something new you know going on you knew a lot about it already Chris thank you for showing yep. me uh, the parking in yeah it, it was it was really cool to do that I mean you know it's like Little yeah, I, I was a little scared. Chris <laughs> told me his foot was above the brake, <laughs> and you know, the, to see the steering wheel move like that, it's not just moving, it's going, yeah, <laughs> it was fast. It was, it was really, like, really fast, yeah. it was, yeah. <laughs> and then the lovely German lady behind us, she was looking, oh my god, what's what is los? What's is los? <laughs> it was good fun, man. So, it's, it's a little bit of entertaining, isn't it? And we it love is. to entertain people, yeah. Chris and Petey, CCT TV. Yeah, so we hope you liked the video. If you are interested in this car, pop down to Citroen Benihoffer, speak to our man John, and say the words CCT or Costa Car Trader. One more time, people Citroen 2014 C4 Picasso, the big model, massage seats, relaxing seats, relaxing back seat, auto parking, ice cold air conditioning, 12 volt adapters all over the car. Got everything you need. The price, once again, Chris, what is the price? They're asking 15,200, but if you say our name, CCT, CCT, you get a 500 discount. 500 discount, which will make it the deal of the century. 35,000 kilometers, 35,000. thing is like new. I want it. He wants I want it. it. He wants it. I hope to have a third one for you people. Thank you very much for watching and we hope to see you in the next video. In the next video.